Please tell me you heard that. I heard that. Welcome to Most Haunted. As we've travelled around the world, sometimes we'll investigate a building that has left someone in absolute fear. Sometimes they're frozen to the spot with terror, and some vow never to return to that location ever again. One such place is Bishton Hall. Although it is believed that a structure stood on these grounds over 900 years ago, the building we see today dates back to approximately 1750. In its time it has had some very notable families living there. Three former High Sheriffs of Staffordshire, John Snade, Cecil Stafford Northcote and John Sparrow, a lawyer and magistrate who purchased Bishton Hall around 1776. It was John Sparrow's daughter, Charlotte, who made the greatest impact on the house and the community. In the 1820s, shortly after her father's death, Charlotte devoted her life to improving and renovating the mansion, adding both the east and west wings of this house. So devoted was she to Bishton Hall that she never married in order to keep the house in the family name and not have it passed to a husband's family name, as was the order of things in those days. But it was her service to the local community that is still remembered today. Charlotte believed that all children, regardless of wealth, deserved an education, so she opened a school undertaking the full costs herself. In honour of her work, every year the pupils of Staffordshire Colwich School hold a celebration in her name on her birthday, the 17th of May. In 1954, St Bede's School was opened at Bishton Hall by the Safford Northcotes and ran for over 60 years until its closure in 2018. The mansion is now owned and maintained by Hanson's Auctioneers, who purchased the house in 2019 and, for the first time in the building's history, opened it to the public, making sure that this magnificent house keeps its place in the community's heart. It seems that Bishton Hall's history has made such an impact on the building that the spirits of many who have lived, died or visited still remain and like to make their presence known. Poltergeist activity is rife, doors open and shut on their own, children laughing and footsteps heard, unexplained loud bangs witnessed across the whole building, dark shadows walk the seamlessly endless corridors and winding staircases, grey mists mysteriously appear, the feeling of foreboding experienced in different rooms and the figure of a lady in white believed to be that of Charlotte Sparrow manifests all over the mansion. Dark shadows wander the endless corridors and winding staircases. Grey mists mysteriously appear, the feeling of foreboding experienced in different rooms and the figure of a lady in white believed to be the ghost of Charlotte Sparrow and her spirit manifests throughout the whole of the building. Many of the rooms in this building have seen better days and some still bear the remnants of its past existence. But although its glory days are gone, the disembodied sounds of children crying, whispering and talking still remain along with loud footsteps and banging doors. Poltergeist activity is rife all over this remarkable building. Objects are thrown, furniture is upended and toys disappear only to reappear in another part of the building.
Well, Glen Bishton Hall, what a place. I mean, this has got so much energy in it. As soon as we've walked in, I can feel it. There's so much history here. There is a lot of history, granted. You feel the energy because it's an old stately home, used to be a school. There's that expectancy, you know? That's what you're going in with. That's what you're met with first off. You know, nothing's actually happened, but you go in there with the expectancy that it's a haunted building. And for my money, it's just a really happy place. A it, bit dilapidated. Yeah, it, it is a very happy place, but I do know that lots of people have witnessed things here, things that have really frightened them. I mean, even the curator's dog, uh, refused to go in a certain part of the building. I mean, really had a hard time barking away, hackles up. And for me, and apparently there was nothing there whatsoever to make the dog feel so uncomfortable. Um, the wonderful woman in white that's seen gliding around the corridors, objects that move, a poltergeist activity, it's all here. And I love old schools. We've had some amazing investigations in old schools. Is it because of the energy? It's so wild and rife. It's fabulous. I'm so excited. Well, I can see. But yeah. the, the, the interesting thing is the, the woman in white, you know, people say they've seen her. Who are these people? I've not met a single one who said that they've seen a, a woman in white in this place. Yeah, but you've only been here for five minutes. Well, I've visited here in the past. <laughs> I've still not bumped into anybody, even anybody working here, who's, who's told me otherwise. Now, there are, of course, the stories of the poltergeist activity. We've had a most haunted extra where things have fallen off. In an ideal world, we want to capture that happening. It's all very well going past the room and then coming back and there's a doll on the floor, you know, on your return. But we didn't see what happened. And as much as I know there's poltergeist activity, we still don't see the actual motion. And, and that's what I would love to capture. You know, that is the definitive haunting procedure as far as, uh, you know, ghosting, ghosty, ghostly activities is concerned. One of the things that I love is that there has been a building on this land for over 900 years. So what has happened in that old building, the people that lived here, that died here, and even before there was any bricks or mortar laid here on the land, what happened? You know, were there murders? Um, you know, the people that died, are they coming back and visiting in a happy way? Or are they really angry and want to, want to harm people? Well, to give the benefit of the doubt, if there's anything like that going on tonight, if we could somehow establish contact through a Ouija board or any other experiments, then I'd be keen to hear some kind of information come through and then maybe we can correlate it afterwards and see if there's anything that all adds up and that would convince anyone that it's a genuinely haunted phenomena that's taking place in this building. Uh, as far as it being a school in, in recent times, it was decommissioned around 2018. Some former pupils have come back to visit, so they can't be visiting as spirits because many of the people who came here are still alive. It wasn't, it wasn't a very old school in that, in that respect. So Carl and Stuart investigated this place before and something incredible happened to them um, where a doll, presumably, moved on its own. Mm, poltergeist activity by textbook definitions, but again, we never actually get to see it. Now for me, I want to witness something launching from start to finish. I know that's something of a holy grail moment when it comes to uh, uh, paranormal activity, but you know, if I'm walking down a corridor in the basement later or, or just walking around any of these rooms with a camera, if I can capture something launching off a shelf, off a mantelpiece or anywhere else, then that would be absolutely compelling evidence for me. We have actually had it, you know, and captured it on many different mm. um, investigations. Well, I need to see that for myself, I think. Yes, That's the important thing. you certainly do. But also, something that intrigues me. Now, we know Carl and Stuart are very, very brave and they'll go off anywhere on their own. Mm. Um, but Stuart had a bit of a problem in one of these rooms. I mean, he really was terrified. Yeah, but that could be, be, be um, perfectly normal paranoia when it comes to uncertainty. You know, panic attacks can come in at any time on the healthiest of people. It could just simply be that, a bit of a sense of foreboding. These are just psychological events that manifest themselves anyway. You could ask any psychologist and they'd tell you the exact same thing. Plus, it's an old school. Nobody wants to be in an old school after hours, do they? We do. <laughs> well, exception of us, of course. <laughs> but, you know, essentially that's that's what those reasons are. And that goes back to me saying about how nine times out of ten there could be a rational explanation for it. It's all very well having the fear factor. However, there could be a rational explanation behind it and that's, that's what we're up against. 
The thing that I am going to ask you now, and I know lots of people are shouting at their television screen is, you have been with the Most Haunted team for a number of years now, and you've experienced yourself some incredible, unexplainable things, to the point where I've actually seen you cowering and shaking <laughs> in a corner. Now, you can say, I don't know what it is, it's unexplainable, it, you know, is it paranormal? I don't know. But come on, Glenn. <laughs> Give us a break. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Listen, paranormal activity is a real genuine phenomena. One time out of 10, nine times out of 10, things have a rational explanation. You know that, I know that. There are I wouldn't big... say nine times out of 10. Well, come on. I mean, you know, if, if we're looking into, you know, something shaking or moving, that there could, you know, this building is, it's very old. It is falling apart. Like, all of us do when we get old. You know, there's uneven floor surfaces, there's parts of the ceiling are caving in. Things just happen in this house because it's decaying. And because uh, people are saying it's a haunted house, then you're going to assume that if you're an out and out believer, that it's something spiritual's going on. But so, it's not always the case, and that's my point. So you mean to tell me when you've sat down at an old table, like this one for instance, and it starts shaking, which you love, <laughs> and there's, there's no logical explanation for it to be doing that, then what is it? Well, that's the thing. You've said it yourself. There's no logical explanation for it. It's a real phenomena, but it's a phenomena we just don't understand. But I love watching your face when it happens. But I love it, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I can accept it happens. It's knowing what it is, really. That's, that is the million dollar question. Well, I know what it is. Don't be in denial. <laughs> We decided to start the investigation into this vast mansion by splitting up. I sent Carl and Stu to the main house, Greg to the upper floors alone, whilst I took Glenn and Darren to the cellars. Right, okay, let's get down into the cellar. Are you excited? I am very, very excited. Darren is on camera for now, but uh, obviously we'll take that off you in a bit, Darren. Okay, do you want to go first or shall I'll I go first? Get down there. <laughs> right. So down into the cellar. Yep. Left or right, you decide. Oh, I don't care. Alright, let's go this way. Okay. Ooh. What's the matter? We're met by a, a ball. Okay. Just placed so in the middle. I don't know if that was there when Stu was getting his shots earlier in the daytime. I can't imagine. It would be... Anyway, we'll ask him. Yeah. You alright, Darren? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, not, not too bad for now. How is this door? It's not too heavy. It's very cold down here. Uh, proper cell right the I'm going to switch the torch on. Okay. How do you feel about that? Alright. Fine, fine. Hello? If there's anybody here, can you come and talk to us, please? I know you can hear my voice. Come towards us now. Hello, I'm Yvette. I'm Glenn. I'm Darren. Come and speak to us. Come and show yourself on this funny thing that Darren's holding. And for any modern ghosts, it's a camera. Right, well, uh, as you can see, it's Stuart and me. The other guys are, Greg is over to my right, uh, high up. What is that? That might be Greg. Because I think the rooms interlatch, oh, right, probably where we are. There's a door here. And there's, let me show you this. And there's a. There's a. There's a. Another room here, and he's over there above us. So they might halfway through the ceiling will will probably overlap. Yeah. Um, and this is a. Remarkable staircase. Now, it's still quite light outside, as you can see from the, 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 the top there. I mean, we are sort of getting on into the evening, but it's still quite light. Um, so we're going to go through here. Right, so Bishton Hall. Bits of it are falling apart. And bits of it are like a little museum to the past. Um, this bit's particularly interesting, obviously, like a kid's bedroom or what's been made out to be a kid's bedroom. So this place was a was a school back in the day. Um, I think it was still open until like about 2018 or something like that. So it's, it's all within recent memory, but you look at these things and you think, 
It looks like it's from, you know, 1940s, 1950s. It looks like the war. So can you please come and talk to us or perhaps use your voice? Can you say hello? I could have sworn I heard two taps behind Darren then. Really? But they were quite faint, so I don't, I don't expect the camera would have picked them up. I didn't hear it either. I didn't. Can you copy me? There's a ball on the floor. Do you think you could roll that? It's actually quite good to stand here and just be quiet, just to get the, any noises out, mm. so you can hear them. It's very quiet. How do you feel? Um, expectant. Yeah. How do you feel, Darren? It, um, to be honest, it, it feels a little bit... It's quite calm at the moment, isn't it? But, it, but you know when you get that feeling that, that it's just a bit... Th there's something waiting, yeah? That's all I don't know, yeah? yeah. Let's go further down there's, there. There's all changing rooms down there, I think. Thank God. So. Yeah. And apparently Stuart had something happen before. There's that ball there. Uh, yeah, the ball hasn't moved, I don't and think. And there's these glass bottles here. See, I'm looking for... I don't love any one of these to just yeah. fly off. Can you move one of the bottles? Smash something? Make a noise with your voice. Come and say hello. We can't see you. Oh, look at all these glasses here. Right, this is me. Yeah. Let's not hope you smash too many of them. There's a lot of cleaning up to do. You can throw one at me, though. You won't get in trouble. What's in here? This is one of the changing oh. rooms, I think. I'm going to turn the light off again. Yeah. Uh, actually, can you turn it on? Because sure. I cannot actually see. Right. There you go. Oh. Oh! Oh! Now, uh, I, as I understand it, Stu heard a calamity before. Yes, he did. I have seen a still picture. I remember tennis rackets being on the floor in the picture. I don't remember the helmets or the bench collapsed. So... But it was, it was quite a few hours ago since I saw the picture, so okay. I couldn't tell you if... We need to check then, don't we? We do, yeah. Did you do this? Did you do this? But the frustration was he wasn't in this room. No. Really. Can you do it again? Come on! Show us what you're made of. Come on, do something. Use our energy now. Make a noise. Slam a door. Can you scare us out? Can you scare three grown-ups out of this room? Do something that will make us leave. What's behind me? The showers. showers. Can you turn the shower on? There's something walking. Turn the shower on. Flush the loo. I just realised I'm just standing in a damn room with no idea what's, what's behind me. What's behind you? Turn the showers on. Flush the toilet. We've heard that before. Yeah. Lock us in. Come on. I mean, this is particularly freaky because we're, we're certainly not in the business of going into other people's property and destroying it. No. Was that definitely up before? I, I haven't been in this room. I've been in this room where we've been on, a, on a, an event yeah. with the public and I there was it, that was broken, but that was a while ago, so yeah. Yeah. you know, could have happened then. But we need to check Stu's first. Yeah, we do. We can see from earlier shots of the room that the bench was already on the floor. I do know that when people have been here before and they've done Ouija boards and so on, that they talk about the PE teacher. Mm. They talk about the PE teacher who wasn't particularly very nice, but who knows? I don't know. I've not experienced that myself. No. Let's see what's... Because I've not been... This house is like a, just a continuous labyrinth of corridors and of antiques, rooms and they're all full. I mean literally full to the rafters with every kind of potential antique, vintage, 
uh, bric-a-brac that you could possibly ever imagine in one place. I mean, just look, I'm going to turn the top light on and you look at all of that, right the way down that corridor, there's furniture. No. Right. How are you feeling, Stu? A bit apprehensive, if I'm being completely honest with you. And it's not me trying to ham anything up. Like I said before, everything that happened earlier on today, it's I'm only just starting to digest what's gone on now. Mm. And what we've been and done, obviously off camera, the things we've said, doesn't help. It helps for, for the show, you know, to get things going, but I don't even think we needed that, to be honest with you. No. But I'm very apprehensive. I've got this gut feeling that something's going to happen. Let's get into Who this room. With? I don't know. Show everyone. Yeah, uh, so you don't walk into anything. Wow. Like Full of antiques. Look at it. Every room is just... Now, if there is anything to objects holding... Uh, paranormal activity, surely this place must be rocking with paranormal activity. I think you've got a good point there. You've actually got a valid point. You're dead right. Listen. Hello? It stopped. Can you copy this? Now that, that above is above us. Have you been through this door? No. Nope. Do you know where this goes to? I have no idea. I've not been this side, so I Listen. honestly couldn't say. Ah, it, it's the other end of this corridor. Listen, now. it's on here now, listen. That walk right towards you, like that, to that door. Yeah, absolutely. That came down where you had your camera, like an L shape. This is the end of that corridor where you held your camera up before. Can you move one of the objects in this room? So I've walked into the room and I've noticed that immediately on the floor. So I'm not sure whether that's something that's been placed there, um, but I'm gonna pick it up. If that was anyone knocking things over, I'm going to stand that there. Can you knock that over again for me, please? Can you knock it onto the floor, put it back there? So it's still a bit light out. It's the problem with doing these is things during the summer months. It doesn't get dark until about 10 o'clock and then it's light again about 4 a.m. So I'm calling out to any spirits that might be here. If you're the spirit of a school child that was here, or a teacher, somebody that was here before this was a school, could you give me some indication that you're here? Bell, 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 bell. Where's the bell? Bell, bell, bell. bell, bell, bell. Hello? Hello? Bells, I know there's a load of, there's a load of bells. That, that bell is... Right, that bell is swinging, so I'm guessing that's what was ringing. There's another one there which isn't. Hello? Just to make sure no one's around. So this is back out into the... It's easy to get swung around out there. Is anyone here? Right, so there's no one here. Hello? That was definitely going. Hello? Right, so there's nobody here, and that bell was definitely going. And it's still ringing now. Right, I'm gonna stay here with that in shot. If that was you making that noise, can you make that bell ring again for me right now on camera? Come on, can you make it do it while I'm standing right here watching it? 
Oh, this drives me mad. All the time when we're doing these things, there's a noise off or there's a noise behind us or we get a mover out of a room and then something happens. We never actually see it. I think Glenn was saying it earlier on. Wouldn't it be great if we could actually just see it happen right here, right now? Make a noise. Can you copy me? <whistles> Did you hear that? No. Please tell me you heard that. I heard that. Fucking brilliant. I heard that, but it was right very, here. it was very faint. Once it, it was, but it was there. It was like it was, a, yes. It was like yeah. a, it was just a, it, but re, a really quiet, yeah. really, really quiet. But it was there. Yeah. Go for it, go for it. Yeah, I know it's dark. Uh, Hello? Hang on. I can't hear you there. What's that? Whistle. Copy me. Did you just say shush? I haven't Did spoken. Did you just say shush to me? No, I haven't spoken at all. What was that? It was there. I bet it's picked it up on the camera. Shush. Did you just say shush? shush? Do you know what? What? I'm also going to uh, roll Have you this down there. What? What, Darren? What is it? Um. What's the matter? The ball? Yeah. yeah. Have you just kicked it, Glenn? No, I'm about to. Okay. But was it? Because I'm. It was, I mean, I might be wrong, but I had a mental note that it was between two of these. No, I think it's slats or something. As far as I'm aware, it was. It no, but that's at the end. I, 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 I might be wrong, right? I might be wrong, but there's there's only those three down here. Um, it, it, we're gonna have to watch it back. Okay. Because well, not obviously in. in yes, I think so. They can do that when it's editing, but but I I was reasonably sure it was further up here, but I don't know. When we look back at the footage when we first entered the basement, we can clearly see that Darren was correct. The ball was indeed further down the corridor. What's the matter? We're met by a, a ball. Okay. Just placed so in the middle. I don't know if that was there when Stu was getting his shots earlier in the daytime. I can't imagine. It would be... Anyway, we'll ask him. Here you go, have the ball back. But what made that noise? Do you know what that sounded like to me? It sounded like one of the bells in the hall. Yeah. But... Can you make that noise again? Copy me. <whistles> and I swear, something shushed me. I, In between me and Darren, Darren didn't hear it, but it was there, and I wonder if we picked it up on camera. I, heard I, I, I was totally silent because yeah. I was trying to hear anything at all. Yeah. I, I heard that. What I didn't hear was the first whistle back in, oh, in the really? chamber. So you did hear the shush? Yeah. Oh, great. We know you're here. You've just walked around. Can you walk back in the room? Can you walk past Stuart? He's already a bit on edge. Do you feel offended for what myself and Carl said earlier on today? That was right there. You feel offended, but it got you out, didn't it? It got you to come to us. The temperature's on a lot cooler now. Doesn't it? It's one of the things, the hard things to explain to people sometimes is how, obviously we can't show a temperature. I know the temperature guns and all of that, but we can't on this camera show a temperature drop. But it's been quite uncomfortably hot here uh, all day because um, the it's been quite humid, isn't it? Very, very much so. And now it's gone quite cold to the point I say if it was chilly. Can you can you move something in this room if you are here? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, as long as I break it. Well, this is what I'm saying because there's so much valuable stuff in it. If something went over. I feel quite bad, but then again, if it did go over, it's a sign that there is a poltergeist here.
follow your footsteps. Towards that door. Tis, isn't it? Can't see. Oh, cheers, man. Can't see anything. Hello? Why are you walking away? Come closer. Are you scared of us? Hang on a second. Greg? Right. It was like something's walked out of there and walked up the stairs. You feel like a bouncy by now. Fucking hell, it goes on and on and on. It's bizarre, isn't it? That shows you how light it is outside. Wow. And yet more. Can you please walk up these steps here now then? We're following you and it feels like you're following us all at the same time. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's, that's just exactly how it feels. I thought before, when I was in the basement, I probably actually said it on the camera when I was doing the DVDs. I felt like there was children. Well, it was a school, wasn't it? Well, yeah, of course. So, because of the things they were getting up to, it's probably the same. Oh, you see, all right there. Just another, another, another room. Oh, clocks. What's in here? Good grief! It's another. Ah, oh, they're kids. So come on, if you are here, if that's you trying to make a whew, make a feel out of me, get my attention, can you make that bell or that bell ring for me right now while I'm putting the camera at it? Come on, that was amazing. If we can actually get something on camera actually happening. You see, it's really creaky here on the floor as well. So if, if there was anyone in here, and I know the rest of the team, I think Carl and Stuart are downstairs in the basement. I don't know where the other guys are, but they're certainly not here and they're not, they're not coming when I call out. But if, if there was anyone, because the floors are so creaky, I'd hear anything. And there's no one in here, the ceiling's falling in, etc. Come on, do it again for me. I'm reluctant to go away from the actual bell because I guarantee I'll walk away and then all of a sudden it'll ring again and I'll come running out here and I just... I'm going to leave that door open so I'll see if anyone's around here but there's no one, there's no one here so it's, it's a bit of a maze and it's quite easy to get lost around here. I remember earlier on when I was walking around there's a series of doors that are closed and you can't get through. There's nobody else up here. So that door's open. That's the corridor, so that's leading down. That door, if I close this door now, you'll have see. Hello? I just heard something go bump. But I'm not sure whether, I don't know where. I'm not gonna go down there for the simple route. Hang on, there's, there's a doll on the stairs, which I'm pretty sure was either on top of there or was on top of the thing downstairs. Let me just go downstairs and check. I'll be quiet so as not to interfere with anyone else. Hello? Right, just there where that picture of the Pope is, is where that doll was. And we've got a doll's foot come off and the doll right there. Now, I think when Carl and Stu were here, they had similar poltergeist activity. If that is you throwing things around, please throw something while I'm here.
come on, that doll has definitely moved and I think I heard it being thrown and the fact that it's boots come off. Yeah, that probably would have been it, hitting the wall. Sorry doll, let's put you back where you were. Which was down here. And I remember seeing this doll earlier. Let me just put this camera there. So you can see me putting it back. I remember seeing the dog earlier on when I was doing cutaway shots around this location. So I'm sorry about that. So you sit there, so if that's you being a demon doll, jump off right now as I'm looking at you. Or if there was a spirit, mischievous little poltergeist or something, throw something else at me right now while the camera's right there looking at me. Oh, this is great and it's so frustrating at the same time. Because we're not seeing anything on the camera, we're hearing things and I'm running down and uh, it's just driving me mad. Calling out to any spirits who might be here or upstairs or downstairs, please make a noise now so I know where you are. Throw that doll across the room while I'm staring at it. Come on, please, just do it right now. Come on, it's right there. And then it's gone. It feels cold, it doesn't feel like anyone's held it. As always, I'm trying to come up with a logical explanation. So, from, a, from an open-minded sceptic, what's going on? Well, we're getting weird noise phenomena. It's, it's, it's not, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what it's not, and it's not an echo. It's all right. It's as if somebody's walking behind Glenn, like moving. It feels like it as well. Are you there? Can you throw something behind me, please? closed space. Uh, just working out what's best. It's oh, weird. Come and say hello. Is anybody here with us at all? There's a step here. Anybody? Oh yeah, yeah watch that event because that's an invisible step. Oh no, you see, this all is right. a dead end. But it's a room that oh. is just Rife for stuff to be thrown. I cannot see a damn thing. No, I can't see anything where I'm standing. The, the floor is flat here, so it's just a brick floor. There's lots of heavy objects that could be nicely okay. thrown at us if we're lucky. If you're here, I'm just showing the ceiling. Glenn, there's Darren. If you're here, can you throw something at us? Shut the door. Kick the ball to us. Come and say hello. Use your voice. Hello. Come on, if you're here, demonstrate how powerful you are. Oh, sorry. It's me. Can't see a damn thing. Come and say. No. That was me. Okay. okay. I'm adjusting my weight on my feet. No, 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 no. Did you no, see that? The the, sh the shadow. The is shadow. It? Now, something has moved yeah. in there. Come no. and show yourself to us. Walk towards us. 
It kind of, it just, it was there yes. and it just went yes. across there in the corridor area. I mean. missed it on the camera because I was looking at the three of us. Can you do that again? We both saw that, didn't we? Yes. Typically. Walk towards us, please walk towards us. Come on, I did ask if you're here to show how powerful you are. Close the door. Ooh. That was my tummy. Oh right, okay, Sorry. fine. <laughs> We're on edge now, aren't <laughs> yeah, we? Because yeah. every noise is something, yeah. yeah. Come on! Use our energy! Look at our lights! Come on! Come on, we're at a dead end in the cellar. There's no way of getting out. If you're going to do something, now's the time to do it. Either to Glenn or to Yvette. Like, either one of those two, I'm prepared to <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> Not the Laughing Cavalier there. Come on. Do your worst. Works for Come on, take one of them out. It's fine. Can you hear that bell in the distance? Are you sure? Yes, there it was again. Now it was, a, it, it, but it, it was definitely a bell and it was there. Can you hear that bell? Can you hear that bell? Can you hear that bell? Can you ring the bell again? Can you ring all of them? What do we have to do to make you do something? Please, 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 please do something. Can you show yourself? Put the camera there. Shut the door. Smash something. Throw that ball back. Yes, come on. That was your stomach, wasn't it, Darren? That was, yeah, that was nice. Don't just wait for Carl and Stuart to come down here. Do something for us. Yeah, come on! <whistles> Should we go back out? Yeah. Does somebody else want yeah, to take yeah, the camera yeah. now? I'll, I'll take it. Oh. Yeah, go for it. You, you guys go. I um, can't see, so you're going to want to be with him. Yeah, you need to remember the step. Yeah. Well, the little step, because that's going to... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Right. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Can you see it, Darren? I can see it perfectly, yeah, it's good. Uh, Come on now. Left or right? Did you just make a shh, Did you just make a noise then? I was breathing. Do it. Do it. How you were? No, no, no. Did you make a noise? No, no noise at all. But I don't. I don't know if I heard anything because there's too many walking. It was like somebody talking. Really? But like in a whisper. Could it not have been like an echo? Like, like you know, it's like that type of thing. Yeah. Great. Hello. Come on, throw something. Hmm. Show yourself on the camera. This room's weird. Oh, nice. A props up crucifix. Oh, lovely. Oh, that can only mean one thing. God bless this house. Ooh. Low ceilings. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. It's a pipe. I think. It's a big, it is. It's a big pipe. It's just... Come on. If there are any children here, come and play. Mind you, why you'd want to be in a cellar, I do not know. Is it? That's a bird outside. Mm. I, saw, I, I thought I could hear a child, but then I was a little bird going, Woo -hoo. that's my bird impression. How does it Very go? bad one. Woo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Toys. It's got a tongue over here, isn't it? Bloody hell. We were rich enough to have Tonka when I was a kid. It was all Tonka growing up. There's toys here. Can you move one of the toys? What about a jigsaw puzzle? A Wendy house. Wow. Come on, look at all of this stuff. <laughs> Worth a fortune, that stuff. Come on, play with the toys if you if you want to communicate. I feel like I'm being watched. Do you get that sense or 
going on. Yeah, I, f I feel uncomfortable, I have to say. I do feel uncomfortable. It's almost like I'm not welcome. Yeah. Well, you must feel that like, quite a lot. <laughs> That's happened, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's in there? Wait. But not they're just... lenses, they're all lenses. Right, that's, that's just stuff. Brilliant. Come on, these. Wouldn't you like to play with one of these toys? Oh, they're in great condition. So, any children? I know there's children here now. I'm not psychic, but yeah, I'm guessing there's children with us. There are some big toys here made of metal. Tonka toys. And if you want to come and play with them, you're more than welcome. Me and Carl will play as well. Look, we've got one, two, three. We've got one each. All you need to do is come through this door here, open that door, and it starts with moving this door handle. Come and show us that you're here. We can hear your footsteps. We've heard them coming up the stairs. Fucking hell. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I heard that long something moved, something shifted, didn't it? Yeah. Um, the uh, trouble is, because there's so much stuff around, you don't know what's moving. It is, dude. Can we get. Get one on that. Try to wouldn't know. What Hello? What the fuck was that? The door card. That was the door. Hello. Oh, there's no person. No. That was the door. Yeah. yeah. You said. All you have to do is come through the come door. Through the door, I said. And there's a door handle, all you need to do is twist it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Maybe you've come in now. Maybe you're already in this room. Well, if you are, thank you very much. We reacted a few minutes ago to something that moved in this corner, but we can't see what it is that's been moved or shifted because there's so much stuff around it's very difficult for us to find out yeah can you please move that something again Come in. Where's it coming from, that car? I don't know. It seems like it's coming from that unit that's been on this goes back to us. Car, but the trouble is, if we move, we're going to make too much noise. It's in here. It's like it's coming from. If you're here, open one of those drawers. Of course it's stopped now, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's one of those that we stay in exactly the same position and we've carried on. But you're damned if you do either way. I don't know what to do for the best now. I reckon, why don't we get everyone together and let's just, should we see if we can get everyone together and let's all go in one big group? I think so. Because stuff's happening. It's not, I wouldn't say it's terrifying, but it's, it's, it's edging on that. sort of scary stuff. They can, they can, they've got the capability of understanding what we're, what we're saying and what we're asking yeah. them to do. I believe that that noise, that door, I, I could 
could be wrong, but I, I do believe that was someone coming through there. Yeah, well, it was definitely the handle went, and there's no one behind there. Thank you very much, whoever you are. Thank you. Okay. You want to go? Yeah. I'll let you close that. The fuck was Whoa. that? Whoa! Was that, was that something just hit you then? No, it's no. a big smack in here. What's, hello? Oh shit. You've got to be kidding me. Hey! That on, Carl, that was on there. It's still moving, it's still moving. We walked out of this door. I don't know how I was. I think I might have walked backwards. I got to, I got to about here, you yelled. I, I turned around thinking something had just hit you or you, you'd done something. I was just in, just behind you there and I've come straight back in. And that. You spotted it, I didn't. What the fuck? if you're here, there can, you, no, the rest of them are can you put it back? That can't, that can't be right. Well, it can look, be. Look, look at the end. It's still, it's still, it's still swimming in the bucket. It's not being knocked off because it's it's upright. If it was on its side, and it's it's it travelled. Actually, just hang on to that. Yeah, I've got it. All yours. No, I mean, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's not, it's not the lightest of... What's what would you say that weighed in kilo, in bags of sugar, let's say? A Keep a couple of bags of sugar. So it's not light then? No. But look, if I, I mean, I'll just place that back on there. I've got it, got it all on camera. I mean, if I'm, I'm just saying, if we... Is there any way we could no, have no, walked in past? No. Even if that rolled off, Carl, it's going to end up on the floor. There. It's that. Gonna, it's going to do that, isn't it? Of course it's going to do that. Absolutely. It that, it's ended it's there. Been, yeah, that's been placed there. That. That's them wanting us to come back. I just think, yeah, let's get everyone together. And let's do it with everyone. I think anyway, everyone's energy. Because we've all split up. Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's get energy, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Right, I'm gonna get you in shot. I'm behind the camera, Carl's in front. Can you do this again? Can you do it again? Got the door in shot. Because we're eight, we're waiting for it, it's not gonna do it. Let me get down there, you stay where you are. That's incredible, isn't it? That that is good. I can't remember. Those footsteps that that the, 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 there's so much going on. You haven't got time to talk about what's just happened because before you do that, you've moved on to the next phase. Then we've got some poltergeist activity going on. Come on, is there anything here? Please give me an indication. Show me something right now on camera, come on. Turn the taps on, not this photo frame over. Throw something at me. Move this radiator which is fixed into the ground. Make a noise somewhere, come on please give me something. Right, I'm gonna go back upstairs because that's where it all started. And I'm going to do that classic thing of ignoring it and seeing if it being ignored is what makes it happen. So that's where the doll is, on the side there. That's where I found it. So heading back upstairs, calling out as I go. Try and keep away from everyone that's downstairs. So calling out to any spirits that might be here. Walking back now past the bell. Can you make that bell ding for me again, please? Come on, while I'm standing here pointing the camera at it. Oh, it's so annoying. 
I'll go back through to the room that I started in again and I'll call out. See, the floor's just so noisy. If, if someone was up here, I would hear them because the floor is just creaking and banging and everything. I'll leave that door open as well. Head back down to this room. So once again, calling out to any spirits who may be a little bit shy. Can you throw something off the shelf here? Can you affect any of the toys in this room? Please just don't ring the bell again and make me go running down there. So calling out to any spirits that might be here, I mean you're the utmost respect, don't mean you any harm, just love to try and communicate with you. So if there are spirits of any teachers or students who used to come here, if there are any spirits of anything connected to the building that was here before the school or to the land that's here, that's always been here, can you give me some indication that you're here? Can you make a noise? Can you reveal yourself to me? Can you throw something? Move something. So, the cross is still there, that's not been moved. Call me up somewhere else, make a noise somewhere else. And then I'll run off, come back, and then move that cross while I'm gone. There are some beads here, I think rosary beads or something. Can you knock those onto the floor? Or would that be disrespectful? Are you a good girl or a good boy or a God-fearing teacher that would never do anything like that? Come on, if you are here, please give me some indication that you're here. I'm going to pop the camera over here in the corner. So that should get a pretty good view of the room. If there are any spirits here, please come forward, please communicate with me. Please give me some indication you're here. Can you move anything? Can you close the door? Can you knock any of the items off the side? Can you make the cross fall over? I hear any tweeting noise, but I'm not sure whether it's just a bird. A bird either stuck in the fireplace, which would be horrible. Anything in there? I think it's sealed. Don't you hear horror stories of birds getting trapped in chimneys, don't you? I'm hearing what sounds like a trop, trop. I'm not sure whether it's a bird that's nested in there or is stuck. Can't see anything. Is that it? Are you there, spirit? Come on, please come out and play. and thumping noises but I'm not sure whether it's just the railway with the train going past quite quickly a couple of miles away. I was trying to come up with a logical explanation for when things happen. So that bell, no idea unless there's somewhere else in the building that someone can be activating the bell from. There's a whole raft of them downstairs, I'll check as I head back out to see if there's any way of anyone setting anything off and whether someone was just, you know, doing the classic of, can you make the bell ring like this? And setting it off up here. So I'll go back down and I'll, uh, I'll reconvene with the, uh, with the other guys. See if they've set the bell off or had any activity. I'll go back and check on that, that doll downstairs.
Go and set the bell off right now while I'm pointing at it. Right now. Go on, last chance. Make the bell go ding. Ugh. It's so, so frustrating. Nothing happens when you're right there looking at it. I'm just going to see if that doll is still in the same place. Not on the stairs. Yeah, it's still there. Right, I'm going to head back downstairs and see if I can meet up with the other guys and get them to tell me if they were ringing any bells. Just listen out for them. I think they're downstairs in the cellar. So I'll try not to interfere with their vigil, but if I can hear them coming up. So this is back downstairs, just above where the cellar is. So the guys, I believe, are down there. I'm not going down there, but there's a whole bunch of bells up here at the top. But I believe they've all been deactivated, so I'm not sure. You know, if Carl or Stuart or Yvette, Darren, anyone else was down here, Glenn, and they said, can you make the bells ring like this? And they pulled the cord, whether that would set one of the bells off upstairs. So I'll, um... Shall we try back down there yes, again? Yes, I think so. Yeah. In here, I don't know whether it's because... I don't know, I don't... I don't, I don't know what it is. No. Good. But when we first went in, do you agree, Darren? We sort of felt a bit on edge, didn't we? It was, yeah, it felt... It's, it's that feeling, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Tom. That feeling that, uh, that, that something's going to happen. Yeah. Ball's still there, right? Yeah. Did we go into the very end changing room? I don't think we did. No. Let's go down. No, let's do it. Come on now! Hooray! Energy, energy, energy! Come on! Time for some games! Come on! Right. Let's have a game! Come on! Oh, Hooray! Right. We're going to play! A bit of tennis, a bit of football! Right time. Come on! There's an old rugby ball there. Rugby Keep ball playing. there. Rugby ball. Time to have a shower! <laughs> right then. In the middle of the showers. There's another one of these off them. Oh, yeah, what's oh, going on? on? That's not happened recently. What does that mean? Not while we've been here, anyway. No. I just, I just need something. Come on. Come on, please. Please do something for us. Can you throw something now? Roll the ball in the room behind Darren so it touches the back of his legs. That would be amazing. That would, that be, would amazing. be amazing. Come There's on. the ball. Still where we left it. Come on, roll it through here. Yeah. Come on, let's play. Can you throw that rugby ball? Let's see if we can get a try. Yes. One, two, three. The, what, what was, was that? that? Did you not hear that? Please. That, that was like it. Um, it was like a really low kind of kind of grumble, kind of yeah, like a, like a like a like a, like a growl. growl. Yeah. It was a growl. Yeah. Whirr. Yes, something like a whirr. You heard that? Oh, I Sorry, I forgot to. That's on camera. I That's forgot to film that. What? No, no, no. It's it's filming, but I forgot to get you in shot. Oh, I was, Jesus Christ! I was just filming your chest. Sorry. Why? Because I was because I was too busy well, thinking about the. Boat, Darren. I was I was thinking about the noise that I just heard, and I forgot That's, that I was so talking to the camera. That. That, we yeah. Both heard that. Yeah. yeah, it sounded very close to me. Did that? Yeah, yeah, it, it like was. Right behind you, Darren. Yes. Can you do that again? Corridor yes, to the right. Yes, yes. I don't know, but I heard something. It was like yeah. a go, like go, the, go, like, go. The, like, like 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 the air. I don't know. <laughs> like the air kind of being expelled from something. Yeah. I need growl in the ear. Let me just bang these pipes. See if anything that could come through here. Well, they're pretty well insulated then. That was a growl. It was, it was a growl. Yeah. No, I know that's. Oh, was what? that you? What? what? That shh, noise. That was your feet. No, it was not my feet. That was definitely not my feet, that I promise you. Feet, wasn't it? I promise you that was not my feet. Well, it was somebody sliding something. Yeah, it, it sounded it? like it, but it was not, that did not just happen. Just slide your foot. That's the noise it was, I'm sure it was. I didn't do that. 
He was a growl. Yes. Now I know that's Fool! Was that you? He was a growl. Yes. Now I know that's Fool! Was that you? He was a growl. Yes. Now I know that's Fool! Was that you? Right, that's why it, that's why it shocked me so much. Yeah, yeah. Because I stepped. Okay. I just I just walked. Right. And as I walked, it went Right. It wasn't it, was, it wasn't a natural noise that, that my feet would no, make in that know, moment. You, you know, don't you, when, yeah, you, when you've experienced something. Yeah. I heard it. Yeah. Can you make that noise again? If you like seeing a spooks, you're doing a very good job. So keep doing what you're doing. No, you're not doing a good job at all. Well, try a bit harder then. Come on. That noise. Hello? Copy me. Come on. Who, who is it? Where are you? Come on out. Come on out of the shadows. Where are you? There's something in here with us. Or somebody. Or something. There's too many noises. Yeah. Just behind me. Up there. Yeah, let me get you in shot. Not, not a pipe noise. Could it be mice? It's possible, but it sounded like it was coming from up and we're in a barrel vaulted ceiling, which is hard for that noise to get through, isn't it? Come on! Smash a glass! Throw something! Please! We want more! Come on, use the, use the energy now. Use yeah. the energy that we've got here together. Yeah. Pick something up. Get it on camera, do it where we can see it in this area, where everyone can see it, so there's no question as to where it is, what it's coming from, you know, is it behind us, it's right here, do it here, yeah. get one of these glasses, and throw move it. it now, whilst we're standing away from them. Throw something at Darren. Yeah. Yeah, go on, just like a sponge or something. Yeah. A sponge? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You might be thinking, I don't want to do that. You might I, don't, thinking, I really don't want to do that. I might harm you. I might this. Uh, but we're asking you, in all sincerity and with politeness, please, we are asking for you to move objects, for you to use your voice. I know that you can hear us and I know that you can see us. So please do us the honour of scaring us shitless. We would really like that. There'll be no detention. Gives me night terrors, but what the hell? But you're not on your own. No. What are you hearing, Dan? Sounded like a chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry when it sounded like a chicken. I don't think I've ever heard anything like that in all my years of investigating. It went, it went like, cluck, like that. As soon as it did, which is, why I'd, which is why if you hadn't have asked me, I probably wouldn't have said. It sounded like a chicken. It did sound exactly like a chicken. Sorry, I apologise if you are the ghost of a chicken. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you in any way. And do you right? know what? A lot of people, when, we, when they see us laughing, a lot of people are saying, oh gosh, you know, you should be concentrating. <laughs> Laughter is fantastic it energy. Is. So if ever you're on a ghost hunt and you, you don't laugh, you, you know, please laugh because the energy is building all the time. A lot of times you would have to do it within these situations or else you'd go actually insane. Yeah, you? you would. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. What's that noise? I heard it. Tap, 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 tap. Can you do this? As we're walking out, can you do this? Oh, if that's moved. I have moved. I like the wine. Come on now. Make that noise. As we're walking out, just make that noise. Or if it's not for us, maybe the next people that come down here, you can make that noise. Or roll the ball. We're going now. Thanks for the growl. Thank you for the growl, that was fantastic. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Right, we're leaving now. We're leaving. Time's up Just now. Just to let you yeah. know, I'm the last one in. Yeah, I'm the last one out. If you want to throw something now, is the time. Okay, suit yourself. I cannot wait to hear that growl back. Yeah. I cannot wait, I'm very yeah. excited about that. Well done, come on, upwards and upwards. And those bells, I could have sworn we heard those bells. Yeah. So we would have heard them. That was this gate. That was the door. Okay. Did you get those bells? Oh, yeah. Go on, move the bells. Just, just as we're leaving. Go on, move one of the bells. Please. Until next time, sleep tight.